It's a public sidewalk. Donnie Moss is a dedicated animal rights activist with a website called theirturn.net. These live animal markets in New York City are a breeding ground for infectious disease. The markets have been under more scrutiny ever since the COVID-19 outbreak was traced to a live or wet market in Wuhan, China. Goats, lambs, chickens slaughtered on site and their fresh meat sold on the spot right here in New York. If anything, the situation is more dangerous now than it has ever been. Dr. Neil Barnard is the head of the 12,000 member Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. He fears animal viruses could mix with COVID-19 if a wet market customer is COVID-19 positive. Where the genes can mix and you get a new novel virus. We cannot allow that to happen right in the middle of a huge metropolitan area. It's a time bomb you just cannot allow to, to be set. He's petitioning the Surgeon General to shut down live markets. There are 71 of them in the city under regulation of the State Department of Agriculture and Markets. We take sanitizing um, and clean up very seriously. Imran Udin owns Madani Halal, a live market in Ozone Park, Queens. The sanitizing, you know, morning, noon, before we close. He's proud of the way he runs his shop, which is according to Islamic law on treatment and slaughtering of animals. I work with a lot of uh, New York City's finest restaurants and a lot of the chefs, they'll tell you, you know, there's no, you can't even compare uh, boxed, uh, boxed meat compared to fresh, uh, fresh meat. I never thought I'd be in a slaughterhouse business. Udin was featured in a 2008 PBS documentary. He's a former advertising guy who took over his father's live market business. You killed the sheep? Uh, yeah, we, we, we slaughter it and uh, we, you know, cut it up for people to cook with. People who shop in these live animal markets can get the same meat in a grocery store. There are certain stores you can buy prepackaged halal meat, but the majority of people um, that are my clientele, they don't trust that. As a physician, I understand that. But religion and our culture always changes with the times. Slaughtering on site ensures that everything is done um, uh, properly. There's no chemicals involved. Um, it's, it's minimally uh, uh, processed. But Udin acknowledges there may be some problem places in the city. You know, there's always someone doing something shady. We want to stress that there is no evidence that COVID-19 has ever been spread from an animal to a person here in the U.S. But bacterial infections have and some have been traced to live markets. Tomorrow night at 10, we're going to show you some of the most controversial live animal practices going on in the city and how the city and state governments have reacted.